What's up YouTube? So as you can tell by the title, I beat the million dollar challenge tower in WWE 2K19. You're probably wondering how I did it. And to be honest, I, I don't really want to tell you because uh, that ruins my chances <laughs> of like getting into like, um, what is it? It's like a random pick or whatever. The more people there are, the, uh, the more difficult it is for me. But I'm just going to say, uh, just try everything. Don't, don't do stuff that would be stupid. Basically, if they have a lot of reversals, don't go for your finisher. This, that's just unnecessary. And I'm pretty sure some of you already learned that playing it. But yeah, that's, that's the best tip I can give you. But uh, I don't have every single match that I had to do because when I was playing it, uh, I went over an hour and on PS4, I can only save so much. I can see everything that's happening, by the way, on the screen. So like it starts off with like me beating Luke Gallows. First time I tried this, I lost to Carl Anderson because I couldn't counter the uh, gun stun or RKO or whatever you want to call it. And then I, um, I lost to Shinsuke. And then I lost to The Rock. And then I, uh, that's the fourth time I tried it, I beat it. And I tried to take an approach where I wouldn't lose a lot of health, but actually not having a lot of health kind of benefited me because you had your comeback on deck and then like any momentum or finisher or signature you had in the last match you get to keep for the next match, which is good. Made it a little bit easier, you know, to beat it. Uh, Undertaker was a problem. The Rock was definitely a problem, dude. That's when I learned like, well, I already knew this, but I took a risk. But trying to use my finisher on the rock, he definitely punished me when he had um, a ton of reversals. But as you can see right here, he had none. I do the pop-up styles clash on the floor, falls go anywhere, and I win the matchup. Now, when we get to Golden AJ Styles, I'll give you a more in-depth of like, you know, you get a full matchup basically. You get to see like how I played throughout the entire thing. I really relied on the, uh, if, if they were kicking out of my finisher and I didn't want to... Um, waste my finisher save it for the next time around, I would rely on the submission. And usually I use the Muda Lock only because I liked it the most. But sometimes I would go for this um, single leg camel clutch. Um, facing Stone Cold really scared me because I genuinely thought I was going to lose right off the bat. As soon as I saw him, I was like, oh, well, if he gets the stunner, I lose the match. And he tried to use it and I blocked it. I actually was able to block it. So, you know. That was good. Once I got past The Rock, I felt like I could just beat anybody that was left. I didn't care who it was, uh, including Seth Rollins and including uh, Brock Lesnar, as you can see here. Now, coming up is a clip of me asking my friend for a little bit of encouragement, and you'll hear what he had to say to me to uh, give me some encouragement. So let's get right into that. Here we go. That's his encouragement. That's not encouragement. So, basically, another reason I didn't really like show every match is because all I was doing the entire time was not talking and listening to music on Spotify. So unless you want to hear mumbled Spotify music, then I, I, I guess I guess I would upload as much of it as I have. But Golden AJ Styles was quite uh, annoying, but. After beating everyone else, I felt like nothing could stop me. As you can see right here, really relying on a lot of running offense, and he has max momentum, maxed everything, right? That's his, his whole shindig. But he's still a light heavyweight, so that's good. So, you know, you can still do your pickup moves or whatever. So, with him having maxed everything, his grapple speed is different or whatever, but I was able to catch him with a lot of moves, surprisingly, that I didn't think I could catch him with before. I did rely on the whole stump strat, where they use a reversal to get back to their feet. And you see my health, and you're probably like, that's cheese, but do you see my health? Like, you want me to legit try to beat this dude in actual, there's, no, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I had to play it smart. You have to play it smart. Even if it is sort of cheese, in this scenario, you had to play it smart. And I didn't come all this way just to lose because I wanted to have a legit matchup. No, it's not happening. If I wanna have a legit matchup, I'll be facing someone at full health, okay? But, I was really surprised I was able to hit the moves that I was able to hit on uh, this version of AJ Styles. See that crap right there? That little instant gurry that doesn't hit? That happened uh, a lot throughout me trying to beat it uh, in this run. 
and it was really, really agitating. I kept thinking like, oh, well, I missed it. Now they're going to beat me. No, I just went for it again, and then I actually hit them. So that was good. Uh, focusing on the head was another main part of my strategy. Just in case I wasn't able to get the pin, or if I didn't have a finisher when I needed it the most, when I was feeling desperate, I'd just go for a submission. They do have resiliency, but not all of them use resiliency. So that was not really too much of a problem. Like, sometimes... Uh, especially with like Daniel Bryan and Finn Balor, sometimes they just don't use it when you put them in a submission, so it's able to win like that. Some of the matches were pin only, and when it was pin only, I mean, it wasn't really too much of a problem. It seemed like it would be, but it wasn't. They also paired you up with people who don't really use submissions like that, like John Cena, uh, Roman Reigns, and Brock Lesnar. Now, they, granted, they do have, or I don't know about Roman Reigns, but the, not The Rock. John Cena. John Cena has STF. Uh, Brock Lesnar has a Kimura, uh, Samoa Joe has a Coquina Clutch, and I guess it makes sense for them to uh, to be in that scenario somewhat, but at the same time, it made it a lot easier to get through those parts because they couldn't do anything. So right here with uh, AJ Styles, the golden AJ Styles, I was just like, just kind of trying to stick it to like everything I had to do to get this far, and I hit it with two Styles Clash, and I think this is where I won, right? Yeah, and I was really, really happy, but it was like midnight when I beat this. So like, and you know, I live with my parents and like my uh, younger sister or whatever. So I didn't want to wake anybody up. So I was just trying to be calm. I was like whispering, like a quiet shout, if that makes sense. Oxymoron for you, but yeah. So that was my experience and hopefully you enjoyed the video and see you for another video next time. Thanks for watching.